All right, come check it out. We, we, we came up with a name for it. What's the name? Hey, how are you guys doing today? We're starting the third vlog in a row in the Duramax. The Duramax keeps on putting out good vibes, so we're gonna continue this streak. I'm actually at my girlfriend's house right now. We're gonna do a small photo shoot, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna do a new channel banner, and I'm going to do some pictures for Machine Merch. Check out machinemerch.com for the new pics. <laughs> Photo shoot ended up going really well. We got a couple pictures for the channel art, the uh, product page on machinemerch.com, so check that out. I just posted yesterday's video and you guys came up with some names. I'll mention that later on, but right now, what I'm working on is trying to figure out what these spark plugs look like, see if there's any water or any debris inside the cylinders, see if the pistons are going up and down, just making sure that inside here, stuff is, is kind of working. I, I hope it works perfectly. It's just like the BMW, they're bolt-on. They're not just slip-on like a regular car. They're like a four-wheeler dirt bike. Let me tell you something, they're on there. Three spark plugs, they're all NGK. I'm, I'm pretty sure Yamaha uses NGK spark plugs, so these are the right spark plugs. However, they are extremely black. Um, I had my battery all charged. Well, well, I had it charged for a couple hours. It, it, was, it was on the charger. Now I'm going to reinstall it. It said it was a maintenance-free battery. Hopefully it, it lasts a while. I mean, this thing's a 2016, we're in 2018. Only the second month of 2018. Hopefully this battery is good. By removing these though, if there is any contaminants in the engine, we can't like hydro lock, so, so that's a good thing. But if we have a broken rod or something and something hits, then we're screwed. But hopefully it's not like that. Hopefully this thing was rolled over like the listing said. I don't believe this is, this dash is stock either. I think that's aftermarket, and you can see it's got like light bar, light bar, light bar, horn. All I strictly have hooked up is like the fundamentals that make this thing turn on. I don't have this thing hooked up, which I believe is a computer. I don't have this negative hooked up, which I don't really know what that grounds. But I don't have any accessories hooked up. Now when I hooked those two things up, the dash lit up without even the key in it. Now I have the key in it. Look how many miles it says it has on it now. 2770. And then it's got an error for hours. So this thing really must have 2700 miles. I wonder if I can contact somebody about that. Because what I bought was a machine that was just rolled over and had 35 miles on it. I thought it was owned by some idiot that took it off the showroom floor and went out for a nice little joyride and then screwed something up. I didn't want like an expert driver and a professional welder like I got that was smart enough to put uh, sway bar end links on, good ones, so he took them off, and then good clamps here, but he, for but he or she forgot to take those off. So maybe I did get duped. Life works. We'll also try to see if this thing starts. So I'll put the, the clutch in. Nothing. Let's try two wheel drive. Still saying diff lock. I'll finish hooking the rest of this stuff up and see what happens. Now check this out. I put the computer back in. We have a totally different thing on the dash. Right now it's off. Turn it on. You can hear the fuel injection system going. 35 miles, 157.7 hours. We have the neutral light, we have the neutral gear, we have a check engine light. Still haven't hooked up this ground, still haven't hooked up this ground, but we're gonna try it. 
Whoa! Whoa! I got it to turn over. However, we kind of found that this thing has 2,700 miles on it. Good and bad. Look at how clean Danny made this computer. It's looking sharp. Good job, Danny. Hey, you're on a you're on my YouTube video. As we speak. Uh, yeah. As we speak. Cool, cool. <laughs> Plugged everything back in except for the computer. When I didn't plug in the computer, the dash said 2,770 miles. Oh. That's not 35 miles. No. And then when I and then I go to turn over the key, nothing. It doesn't say it's in gear. The fuel, you know, the fuel injection system doesn't turn on. Plug the computer in. Now I'm down to 35 miles, but 157 hours. But now the engine turns over. And does it run? Uh, well, I have the spark plugs out right now, so. Okay. Just what I've seen from the video, it looks like a lot more than 35 miles. I agree. I agree. I mean, just from the rust alone, it looks like more than 35 miles. Yeah. Yeah, because this isn't surface rust. This is beyond. And and the spark plugs are black, dude. You don't get you don't you don't get black spark plugs like this on 35 miles. This machine is really starting to display its age. I just found a hose clamp underneath the gas tank. This person even had the gas tank out. What the heck? And it's also got a lot, a lot of mud. That's a very, very good idea. Never just leave bolts out. Try to put them back where they belong, otherwise you'll lose stuff really, really quickly, especially when you have a mammoth. I do have a lot of updates to mention to you guys in this video, but uh, right now what we're doing, Jake and I are doing, is we're uh, measuring the frame and trying to figure out what part of the frame is tweaked. We don't know if, if it's the roll cage. We don't know if it's the actual frame. We don't know if it's this point, this point, somewhere in here, somewhere in here. We have no idea. We, we assume that it's somewhere in the front because the CV axles are shot, that tie rod was completely bent. We're, so we're assuming it's somewhere in this area. Hopefully it's not anything in the back because that's what we're using as our constants. And if the back is somehow tweaked, then we're, we're just getting wrong measurements and that's not gonna, going to help us at all. Uh, luckily, I do have two connections, new two new connections, thanks to this platform, YouTube, and thanks to this thing. Uh, we have Brian, I believe that's his name, he sent me an email, and then Logan, he hooked me up with some, some documentation too. So I, I, I do appreciate it, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Um, that's helping us move this thing in the right direction. So yeah, we'll just get this thing on. Jake the Toilet Snake and I are waiting for lunch. Too small. 36? 36 is the one. 36 is the one, I'm glad I bought that. So as you can see, we got the roll cage on, it's, it's bolted, and we actually checked a lot of the angles of this frame, and all we discovered is these joints, there's only one joint that's different. It's somewhere in here on both sides. They're three degrees off from each other. Three degrees, everything else is like 0.5 degrees off. So we don't even have a frame to straighten in my opinion. We just have some CV axles to replace, the tie rod to replace, a couple of miscellaneous things to replace. A good pressure washing. Yes, a good pressure washing for sure. Dylan already took 20 pounds of mud out of that. I've already done some weight reduction with the weight of the mud. 
The doors shut better now that the roll cage is installed. Before they didn't shut as good and, and actually lock. That locks. All right, you want me to push on the brake and see if you can take that bolt off? There we go. Brakes are engaged. Come on, get some. So I cleaned up the gas tank and that's looking really, really clean. So I'll be able to take this out, see what's going on inside the gas tank. And hopefully not a lot needs to be replaced in there. Hopefully the fuel filter looks really, really clean and we don't have like crazy stuff going on in there. Jake wanted to do a compression test today. We're not gonna be able to do that because uh, we don't have the right spark plugs. Well, that's not holding us back, but I don't have oil, I don't have an oil filter, but hopefully tomorrow everybody will be open and we'll go ahead and buy that stuff so we can get compression testing. We can fire this thing up, see if it runs, and just get a better overall understanding of this machine. I think you guys want to call it Crush. What do you think of that name, Jake? Crush because it's that. orange? Yeah, yeah. I like that name. You guys you guys are good. You I, change the color though, or you can keep it orange? I think I'm gonna keep it orange. I like the color. Everybody seems to like the color. Crush? Crush is the name, you guys. Crush is the name. Jake's rocking his orange colors. You want me to come visit? Yeah, you want to come check this thing out? Sure. All right, come check it out. We, we, we came up with a name for it. What's the name? Crush. Crush? Yep, Crush and Crash. Orange Crush? Yeah, and your Crash. Oh, Crush and Crash. Crash great. has to drive Crush. Oh, great. Are we driving today? Don't have like back. No, we're far from driving today. <laughs> oh. 